Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aries um, for your uh, January 2023. Um, will your ex come back? <clears throat> so we're going to take a look and see, um, you know, what your mutual energies between you and your ex are. Uh, we'll take a look to see what um, causes separation between you guys and then we'll finish off the read to see if uh, you guys will reconcile or get back together. Um, so uh, this could be in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, you could switch the roles if you want. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, yeah? So Aries, let's get started. Tell me about Aries here. Mutual energies between Aries and their ex for January 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Even though I'm asking about the mutual energies, it could just be one of you guys feeling this way. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want to. Okay. What are the mutual energies between Aries and their ex for January 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? We have the Five of Pentacles. No, that's what the Five of Wands. In the hangman here. Okay. Piscean energy. Could be dealing with the Pisces here. You might have Pisces in your chart also. We have the high priestess here and the queen of pentacles. What we have here is I just feel like, you know, one individual is really keeping to themselves here. Really staying silent here. You know, really trying to elevate themselves and really overcoming, you know, the conflict that you and this person has gone through or, you know, or, you know, the conflict that's happening within themselves here. Okay, it could be a back to a back and forth situation. It's like, you know, I'm good, but you know, did I make a mistake? Should I give this another chance? So the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we have the Four of Cups here in the Star. You know, one person is remaining silent, but another person might be in this energy of like, you know, offering healing here. Yeah, offering apology, but I feel like this could be rejected. Someone here doesn't want it. Someone here doesn't want the conflict anymore, okay? So the star card, Aquarius energy, the five of wands here, and the full Aries energy also could be Aquarius. We got the hangman here and the devil. This is something that you let go. This was really toxic here, Aries. Yeah, this is this is something that you want to avoid at all costs here. So I feel like that's why you're remaining silent. And if, you know, your ex does in fact come towards you with an apology, I just feel like you just don't really want to hear it uh, or vice versa. Okay, the devil card, Capricorn energy here. Tell me about the high priestess. We have the five of cups. Tell me about the uh, queen of pentacles here and the six of cups. This person is Someone here is definitely missing you a lot, okay? Or that you could be missing this person, okay? Or someone here could have, it could be in deep regret that someone here could have done more and they couldn't, you know? So this could be you right here. I feel like this is you, Aries. Five of uh, cups and a six of cups here. Tell me about the four of cups. We have the strength card, Leo energy. Tell me about this uh, star card and judgment, Sagittarius energy. So I do feel like there is going to be some sort of an apology here. And I feel like it's going to take a lot of courage for you to really like reject it. Okay. Because I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, deep down inside, you know, things can't go back to the way that it was. Okay. You're definitely having some sort of awakening. You know, I feel like you've given this person maybe many chances. You don't have any more chances to give. The strength card, Leo energy, judgment, Sagittarius energy. What caused the separation between Aries and their ex? For January 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. There had there was constant lies here. You always felt like there was something going on behind your back. And yeah, perhaps in fact there was. 
Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. We have the Seven of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that someone here kept going out there exploring other options here, okay? Looking at other options, you know, ha had a wandering eye, you know, and dating other people behind your back, and I feel like this person was lying about it. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Knight of Wands here and the Two of Wands. Whoever this is, I feel like this person had a lot of options here. Okay, so this person was definitely play, Playboy Playgirl. Yeah, and they were lying about it. They were telling you straight to your face that you were their person, but they were running around talking, dating, maybe sleeping with other people here. Eight of Swords. We got the Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like he always wondered if this person was in another relationship. I feel like this person was. Yeah, they were definitely investing in another, in another relationship here. I mean, what, what, whatever is, was going on here, you know, I just feel like this person definitely caused a lot of stress and anxiety in your life here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person was also really flirty with other people here too, and I feel like you didn't like that. Okay, the Nine of Swords. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm also getting is that this person would take forever to respond to your text messages or that this person will take forever to respond to your calls here too. Uh, there was just a really lack of uh, consistency with this individual. We have the uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands here, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you were just tired of being an option here. You know, I just feel like, you know, there, there was a constant pattern with this individual and I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, it just never really changed or that it really never got better here. I, I just really feel like this person really deeply hurt you and broke your heart here. All right. Um, let's see. Will there be reconciliation between Aries and their ex for January 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries here. You do have a soulmate connection here with this individual, by the way. With the Ace of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles and the Tower here and the Three of Swords. Will there be reconciliation? You know, this person, you know, that plays around, I do feel like this person will try and come back here and will try and jump into bed here with you, okay? I mean, they're gonna come in kind of like, kind of a bit coy, you know, kind of like playing it cool a little bit, but they wanna jump in bed here with you, okay? Page of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they're going to, you know, if, if let's say in fact, you know, you, you know, for those areas that want to entertain this, you know, I do feel like this person's going to put, put in some sort of effort for a little bit, but then it's just going to stop, you know, with the page of cups here, you know, this individual doesn't really have a lot to offer here. Okay. We have the tower here and the three of swords. I feel like you already deep down inside know that, you know, you know, giving this person another chance is a recipe for disaster here. Okay, the tower here, Aries, Scorpio energy. Tell me about this Ace of Wands here. We have the Knight of Swords, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Lovers here. I do feel like this person is, I do feel like, you, you know, there is kind of like a strong magnet or strong pull between you guys. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Knights here, so this person's really inconsistent. Okay, or that this person, you know, has options and they don't know who to decide here uh, or that this person does love you, you know, but it just seems like this person's really all over the place. This person lies. This person could be really toxic here. Tell me about the page of uh, cups. We have the three of wands, eight of pentacles here and the ace of pentacles. And this person definitely is looking for a new beginning here with you. Yeah, so Aries. I, I just feel like you don't want this. This is more so your person, what this person wants. But like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. The Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, the uh, Three of Swords here, and the Hierophant. I think this might shock you. Yeah, they're looking to come in to offer you commitment. They want to move forward here. Yeah, they want to move forward here. The, the thing is, I feel like you're going to be the one who's doing all the work here. Uh, yeah, this person might come in with like a proposal or something like that. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant here. This is going to really shock you. 
But let's say for those of you guys that do take this off right here, you know, I just feel like, you know, there's still some hurt that you're that you still need to move past. This person needs to go above and beyond to make things right here with you. And they really don't see this person doing it. I do see them doing it for a short time. It's not going to last though. So uh, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.